Hey everybody, today we are in ArcGIS Pro and I am going to show you a quick way to make a 3D Coroplast map. Now Coroplast map is a map uh, that uses color to define uh, discrete boundaries uh, based on your data. For instance, if you wanted to show a map of populations throughout your country, uh, each province or state would be a different color or a variation of a color, okay? Uh, showing that population distribution, that is known as a choropleth. A choropleth map, each color is inside a distinct boundary, okay? Not to be confused with what is called an isopleth, which would be like uh, a map of your country with wavy lines showing bands of temperatures. Okay, so we're going to make a choropleth map, and then we're going to use some tools that are in ArcGIS Pro to turn that into a third dimension so we can map uh, two types of information at the same time, okay? So first of all, I'm going to, I'm not giving you a tutorial on how to use ArcGIS Pro, um, but we'll get to that later in, in some other videos, but I just wanted to show you how to create a quick three-dimensional choropleth map. So we're gonna add data and I'm gonna do the state here in the United States, the state of Oregon, and we're gonna map uh, just by county. So I'll grab up my county's map, my county data, which is the, uh, um, the second lowest um, type of administrative boundary in the United States. You have uh, Obviously, you have the country boundary, and then you have the state boundaries, which for some of you, those would be like a province or something like that. So here is the boundary of the state of Oregon. And then inside the state, we have what are called counties. And these are administrative county uh, boundaries of each one of those counties in the state of Oregon. All right, now we want to first map the uh, information that we want to give to our people. And in this particular case, we're going to do a core plus map and we're going to let Arc Pro do most of the stuff automatically. So we're not going to be messing with the data too much. Um, but I want to do a, I want to color each one of these counties by their population density, okay? In the United States, yeah, we're kind of antiquated in our measurements, so we still use the empirical uh, system. So we're going to do uh, population by square miles, okay? So I come over here to the primary um, symbology and I choose graduated colors. And it's automatically gonna say, give me five classes. Um, it's automatically gonna choose a field that it thinks that we want, which is not the field that we want. Here it's doing a, this is a choropleth map, okay? Each distinct boundary has a color associated with some kind of information. In this case, it's the population of each county in 2014. But we're going to change that. There is an item in our database called POP14 square miles, which is the population density per square mile. So we'll choose that. And then it changes the colors a little bit on our map. Uh, like I said, I can go in and, and increase the number of classes and, and change my colors and all that kind of stuff. But I just want to give you a quick way for you guys to create this map. All right, so now we have a choropleth map uh, showing uh, population density per square mile in counties in the state of Oregon. 
that's basically how I would title this map. You want to give your map reader as much information as possible. Okay, so when they look at this map, they'll notice that red is the most densely populated uh, county or counties, depending on uh, how many in your region um, satisfies that criteria. So here is the city of Portland in this area. So this is a metro area. So this is the uh, highly dense, uh, higher density than out here in the west where this is the Cascade Mountains and forest and, and things like that. All right, so there is our simple choropleth map of populations per square mile by county in the state of Oregon. All right, now we want to turn this into a three-dimensional map. And in Pro, it's pretty easy. We're going to select the View tab, and we see this Convert, um, this convert tool, and we're going to hit the down arrow, and we're going to choose Local Scene. And what that does, it automatically creates, Arc, uh, Arc Pro is automatically creating a three-dimensional scene. All right, now it doesn't look like it's three-dimensional right now because we haven't told the three-dimension, we haven't told the, uh, Arc Pro what we want to make the third dimension. Now, remember we have our core pleth map and we are showing populations per square mile all right but I want the I want the user the map reader I want the map reader to see a, a another uh, piece of information I want them to see the actual population of each county all right and that's going to be our third dimension the population itself all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the the layer that I want that third dimension and if you notice up here on the ribbon bar it automatically adds a an orange highlight for the feature layer and I get this appearance tab so I choose the the appearance tab and then over here in extrusion because that's what we're going to do with each one of these counties. We are going to extrude it to a third dimension. All right. It's kind of like um, extruding a piece of aluminum to, to make a flat piece of aluminum into a bar or something like that. Okay. So we're extruding the actual counties based on a third dimension. So what kind of type do I want? I want an absolute height. Okay, so I choose absolute height. Now, yeah, the colors get a little goofy right here, but don't worry about that. That should clear up after we give it some more information. We're going to choose a field, and we're going to choose this population 2014. Now, the units are meters, but you don't, it, that, mean, that doesn't mean anything, okay? It's just, if we were, doing buildings then meters would mean something but here we're using arbitrary numbers and an arbitrary unit to define the height of each one of these counties all right and i just chose me we'll just leave meters alone now you can see that these counties popped popped out at you okay they're coming towards you right now so your map reader doesn't really see the full effect of the 3D, all right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to come down here and we're going to turn on our control wheel and we're going to just tilt our map, maybe. We're going to tilt our map a little bit like this. We're going to kind of zoom out so we can kind of see how our map appears in the 3D, okay? And then... Obviously, there's a behind this county right here, right in back of it. There's another county. See, if I if I tilt that, you can see some lower counties down here. 
that are being hidden. So you might have to, in your 3D view, you might have to move and reorient your map so you can see some of those other areas. Now, another thing that you can do is you can change the exaggeration of these heights. Remember, these are made, these are based on meters. All right, so um, this, this Portland County uh, has a high, let's go over here to the map view, and let's click on this county where Portland, Ohio is, uh, uh, Portland, Oregon is, and if you'll notice that the population is 758,000 people, all right? Now, in the 3D view, we're using population 2014 for our third dimension, so it's reading that 758,000 as meters. So it's making this particular county 758,000 meters tall, okay? So you can actually change that to something else, but in the case of a population, it's kind of arbitrary. So you can actually come in to and click this expression tool and you can actually change the exaggeration by dividing it by some number. So if I want these elevations to be less so, uh, I can give some kind of factor in the expression to change the exaggeration. All right, we're not going to do that, but you can do that. Uh, just um, type in a divide by some number and hit enter. And this height of each one of these counties will change accordingly. All right. So basically, then you can go in and you can actually create a map layout or you can put a title right here in this this map view here and save that out, export it to a PNG or a JPEG or whatever type of median medium that you want to export that out to. All right. So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys who have Arc Pro to play around with this with your local area and map two bits of information at the same time using the core pleth method and then using the 3D method to extrude those uh, boundaries out. And if you want to, save that as a PNG file and put it in the comments of this video and let's share the world the coolness of using your GIS software to create a core pleth. Now, if you're, you don't have Arc Pro, if uh, you can try this in your in your QGIS and stuff like that, but uh, core pleth maps and 3D maps. Um, one of my first maps that I made way back in the 1980s was a map of Oregon just like this, but I had to do it by hand. Um, so anyway, play with doing this and post your post your images to the comments to this video and we'll just have a great time looking at those and commenting and be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that bell for notifications and share the videos and comment and things like that and we will see you on the next video see you later